I'm Anil Kumar and here are two practice questions for you to multiply fractions using area model. Question is, use the area model to calculate each product. Part A is 2 over 5 times 3 over 4 and part B is 2 over 3 times 1 over 4. You can copy and answer these questions. As you can see, we have given you rectangles already. So we need to multiply 2 over 5 times 3 over 4. So the rectangle here has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns here. So we have 5 columns and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows, right? So we have 5 columns and 4 rows. This is because of their denominators. Do you see that? So we are trying to multiply columns with rows. So while I answer this question, I'll make you understand why we are doing like this. That is giving you a rectangle, which is already divided into five columns and four rows. Now to find the product really means that you select these that means two out of five columns. So we have five columns, select two. So this is one, this is two. So you have selected two out of five and that I've selected with this yellow highlighter. And now with another color, we'll select three rows. So we have to select three out of four rows. So let me select these three rows. So these are three rows, one, two, and three. The product of fractions basically is the common area. As you can clearly see, the common area between the rows and columns is right there, right? Each part is 1 20th. Since there are 20 rectangles in this case, one after that, correct. So what is the result? 2 over 5 times 3 over 4 is equal to what? We have selected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of total of 20, 5 times 4. So 6 out of 20 is the product of this fraction. And we found it by calculating the area. How? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 have been selected out of 20 exactly similar out of 20 exactly similar rectangles right now you can also simplify your answer and write it in the lowest terms 6 divided by 20 you can divide both by 3 so we could write this as 3 out of 10 also correct so that is how you do it i hope the steps are absolutely clear Follow these steps and do part B, that is 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth. Here is the solution. We see that there are three rows this time, right? So there, in this particular case, we are taking three rows and four columns. So you can understand, we can always interchange rows and columns. It's all up to you. Three rows, select two out of them. So let's select two out of them, right? That is two selected, first one and the second one, correct? As far as columns are concerned, let us select just one, right? So we have one selected. Clearly, the portion which is selected by both is right there, which has two units, correct? And therefore, we can write this answer as two out of, in all, we have 3 times 4, 12, 2 out of 12, which could be simplified as 1 out of 6. You get an idea. So that is how we can use area model to find product of fractions. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. I'm Anil Kumar and now let me summarize. When you multiply fractions, make a rectangle with rows and columns similar to the denominators, right? So if we have denominator as five and four, we could have five columns and four rows. We could also have five rows and four columns 
anyway as we had it in the next example. Now the idea is select the number of rows and columns depending on the numerator and the portion which is common to both represents the product. I hope that is absolutely clear. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.